Hey guys, welcome back. I just thought I'd throw another little uh, short video up. Just some uh, little haul of recent back issues I got in. Uh, nothing major. Just some uh, stuff I wanted to have again that I had when I was younger. And uh, a couple of books try to help complete some runs. I got some green, more Green Lantern stuff going on. Got uh, Green Lantern 133. It's got the uh, Adam Strange backups that I'm so fond of. And got a great little storyline here with uh, Hal Jordan and Dr. Polaris. And I think that's a Jim Starlin cover, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Jim Starlin on that cover. Okay, 134. And uh, for some reason, I really love this cover. But I love about any cover by uh, Dick Giordano. And I think a lot of his covers and a lot of his artwork was really underrated, you know, because... Uh, People, I think, mostly when they think of him, they think of uh, him as an inker. And uh, he did a lot of great artwork. Uh, I would uh, recommend going and checking out uh, his stuff in the Human Target backups and Action Comics. Because he had some uh, really, really nice art in those. Uh, but yeah, this is... Uh, I always love this cover. It's just one I had when I was younger and I wanted to get back. These are all pretty decent shape. Probably mid-grade to fine. And I got them for a pretty cheap price, so I was pretty pleased about that. Number 135, more GL and uh, Dr. Polaris. More Adam Strange. And it's a Jimmy James and Joe Staten cover. 136. Got... Uh, Guest stars galore in this one. Got Aliens and Space Ranger, Eclipso, and Adam Strange. And all kinds of artists on that. Buckler, McLaughlin, Staten, Cockerman, Giordano. So pretty nice stuff for a later Bronze Age. And the last one in the Green Lantern run is 137. Uh, more GL goodness. Or Space Ranger, Adam Strange by uh, Infantino and Murphy Anderson, so a real treat there. And the last two, uh, this is All-Star Squadron number 63. This is the last one they did for that run. I think there was 67 issues in that run and three annuals, two or three annuals. And this is the only one that I needed, so uh, it's probably going to go on the list for a, uh, a video. Just love the All-Star Squadron, JSA, anything to do with the DC Golden Age heroes. And uh, some really, really cool stories and artwork. And you can get this whole series, like, really, really cheap. A lot of Roy Thomas goodness going on there. And the last one is one I needed to uh, help complete my Invaders run. This is number seven. I think this is like the first appearance of uh, Baron Blood, uh, Spitfire, Union Jack. So this was a little bit pricier than some of the other ones that came after number one. Uh, it's got like, uh, you know, got some great covers. And, uh, and I don't think a lot of people have talked about Frank Robbins' art, but I really... Uh, I was one of those people, it was like Kirby when I first saw it, I just really didn't get it. You know, I didn't like the art. You know, I was used to Neil Adams and Kurt Swan and, uh, you know, Mike Grell and all those slick, slick artists, I guess you would call it. But I really uh, got to be fond of Robin's artwork, and especially uh, some of the stuff he did on The Shadow. Uh, there's an issue of The Shadow, like where there's a hunchback in the background. I'm not sure exactly what the issue is. It's, I think it might be issue seven. I'm not sure. I'll have to go check. But it's got the shadow in the background and the girl in the, the foreground and the, the hunchback up on the building. That was one of my favorite covers of the Bronze Age. But anyway, uh, closing in, I think I need seven more issues or eight. Check my list real quick. Ah, I need three, four, six, seven, eight, nine issues. Yep. So, there we go. Alright guys, uh, like I say, nothing major here, just uh, some recent stuff I've got, and uh, hope you enjoyed, hope you guys have had a great weekend, and I will see you soon. Onward and upward.